hello friends welcome back to all about structural analysis and uh, design so in today's video we shall see what is meant by rcc why we provide rcc and what happens if you uh, construct a structure or any structural element only with the plain cement concrete so if you are new to my channel okay just uh, subscribe it share it and also don't forget to press the bell uh, icon for the latest notifications of my videos in civil and structural engineering so guys let's uh, start with the today's video so the today's topic is what is meant by rcc okay if you have seen any structure or uh, any simple structure they call it as a rcc structure so the rcc full form is nothing but reinforced cement concrete right so the full form of rcc is reinforced cement concrete before moving on to this uh, reinforced cement concrete we shall see what is meant by only cement concrete cement concrete consists of cement sand aggregates plus the important uh, material that is water so the mixture of cement sand aggregates plus water gives rise to your cement concrete right and in your previous semesters you might have learnt in mt lab or material testing lab that uh, the advantages uh, of a concrete and as well as the disadvantages of concrete so the biggest ad advantage you can say i will write down here biggest advantage is extremely good in compression right extremely good in compression you have seen this okay for this we cast a cube of uh, standard size and then we test into this compression testing machine if you, if you want to uh, watch the video of that particular ctm i will just share my video in the description box you can just check out with that with that uh, uh, video okay so the advantage of uh, concrete is it is very good in compression but as it is having one advantage the biggest disadvantage is also present okay so disadvantage of concrete is extremely weak in tension right so this is the advantage and disadvantage of your cement concrete so i will explain with the uh, uh, by taking example of beam suppose this is your simply supported beam right it is undergoing some loads like this okay next thing what happens is it will have a bending pattern like this it will bend like this right so what happens here this top fiber will undergo compression and this bottom fibers will undergo tension okay so the concept uh, of rcc lies here okay so uh, the top fiber undergoes tension uh, sorry compression and the bottom fiber undergoes tension then what happens if you use only plain cement concrete the whatever the stress is coming on to the top fiber which is in compressive state the concrete will take care of that particular zone that is compression zone but being extremely weak in tension the concrete cannot sustain tensile stresses okay concrete cannot sustain tensile stresses alone right because it is extremely weak in tension so if you construct a structural element suppose a rcc beam okay for example we have considered a simply supported it will undergo bending after undergoing bending it has two zones compression zone and tension zone and the concrete being uh, good in compression the compressive stresses is taken care of by concrete but the concrete is extremely weak in tension therefore concrete cannot sustain tensile stresses alone okay now uh, again we'll take one example of beam which is simply supported again undergoing same amount of load 
Now what I will do, I will take one more element or one more material which is good in tension. Okay, and the material which comes into your, your mind is then steel. Steel is very good in tension. Okay, it is a ductile material. This might also you have been studied in your MT lab. Okay, steel is a ductile material and it is very good in tension to take the tension. So what I will do now. In this simple plain cement concrete beam, I will just put a steel rod in the tension zone like this. Now what happens? The beam will undergo again bending. Okay. The beam will undergo again bending same way. This is in compression and this is in tension. But what happens after uh, inserting this uh, rod steel rod is the whatever amount of tension which was not able which was concrete was not able to take is taken care by this tension is taken care by the steel which is reinforced in the cement concrete understood the concrete which cannot take tensile stresses is taken by the extra material which we are reinforcing in the concrete which is known as reinforcing steel so the concrete um, the, or the compression is taken care by the concrete and tension is taken care by the steel so this is the general idea behind or the general gist of this rcc is this to take care of compression and tension because the concrete is very good in compression but weak in tension that's why we provide the reinforcing bars in the tension zone to take care of the tensile stresses okay but this is uh, only with respect to the simply supported beam one more cantilever beam if you take like this if you take one cantilever beam the loads are acting again what happens the bending pattern pattern will change like this it will happen right here what happens this is in tension zone the upper fibers are in tension zone and the bottom fibers are in compression zone that time what you have to do you should not place the steel in the bottom zone okay if you provide the steel in the bottom zone then it will be a disaster completely technical or structural disaster then we have to take care that you have to reinforce the steel in the concrete in the tension zone and in the cantilever case the tension zone is in the top fiber okay so you have to place the steel at the top zone or tension zone right so always take care that the steel should be placed at the tension zone don't remember it should be placed at the bottom or at the top okay so tension so steel should be should be always placed in the tension zone after providing this then you can define a rcc or reinforced cement concrete so this is the general idea or the general gist behind the reinforced cement concrete because cement concrete is very weak in tension that's why we provide a reinforcing bar into a concrete to give rise to a reinforced cement concrete that is rcc so this is the general concept behind this rcc and uh, there are various codes okay for every country there is different code but for uh, indian uh, standards we refer is 456-2000 which is reaffirmed in 2005 all the design and analysis will be based on the formulas which is given in the is 456-2000 so henceforth for solving the problems we shall use this is 456-2000 code book okay which is nothing but plain and reinforced cement concrete code for practice which is reaffirmed in 2005 okay so in the next video i shall come up with the type of sections okay there are various sections again in rcc we shall uh, see those sections and uh, then we shall start with our analysis and design problems we shall solve all the beams 
how many types of analysis beam designs everything will solve step by step then we'll solve all the structural elements okay so if you have liked this video understood understood this video please like it share it and don't uh, forget to subscribe all about structural analysis and design so thank you guys